hey guys it's your girl Jay Antoinette and welcome back to another video so in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about some fall fragrances that you can find on Amazon that are super affordable but very spicy so I hope you guys really do enjoy this video I am so sorry I've been missing for a couple of days I needed to take some time guys I wasn't even posting like my scent of the day or anything like that but I needed to take some time but I am back like I never left and I am so appreciative to all of you who said that you missed my content I love each and every one of you and I'm very honest and very open with you guys I really love content creating this is something I am super passionate about and I feel like I'm really great at it I do post content here on YouTube but I also do post on TikTok and I post on Instagram as well and I'm really passionate about content creating and sometimes it can be overwhelming because you know you still have to work and stuff like that but I love sharing with you guys I love sharing my views with you guys and I just love editing I love posting and I love sharing like that's just it's a really big part of me and um, I enjoy making videos for you guys so sometimes when I have to step away or take time back it makes me feel a little guilty because it's like you know I'm not putting too much or enough into my passion I don't really want to ramble too much but thank you guys for reaching out to me thank you all for asking me you know what was going on or saying that you missed me I have really appreciate each and every one of you trust me those messages did touch me and I love each and every one of you so much so without all the rambling guys we're gonna get into this video today and I really do hope you enjoy it majority of these fragrances are on Amazon and they are Arabian fragrances which I absolutely love I don't know about anybody else but I love a good Arabian fragrance I like the spicy I like the cinnamon I like the sweetness and I've been really falling in love with oud although in the temperatures in which I I live it's not really perfect for this type of temperature but I do love a good oud fragrance and recently Kayali came up with four new oud fragrances I've been seeing a lot of persons who have been getting PR and stuff like that and I'm excited to hear the reviews I'm excited to see what they smell like and what they're like I still haven't smelled Velvet Santal I haven't smelled that yet but I really am excited for this oud collection because I really have been getting into the ooze and I do enjoy smelling them so I'm really excited about that and I really hope you guys enjoy this video today if you're new here welcome to my channel I am Jay Antoinette and I talk about anything that's gonna make you smell good look good and feel good that is what this channel is completely about hygiene fragrances perfumes layering combos we talk about all that good stuff here so if that's something you're interested in please click that subscribe button because it really helps your girl and her channel give this video a thumbs up and also leave me a nice comment down below let me know what you're wearing today guys what are you guys wearing what are we buying what are we getting what have we enjoying it's officially the fall season and I know I know I know I know you guys must be as, as excited as I am because I absolutely love the fall time I like that cool weather I like the rainy season it's like a nice snuggly cuddly type of time I absolutely love that vibe so I really really hope you guys have been popping out your fall fragrances trying new combos and seeing what they smell like now after sitting for like a whole year the the ripeness inside of them I hope you guys have been enjoying it so without further ado let's get straight into this video okay so first and foremost the first fragrance I do want to talk about is love apple by Al rehab it is this a beautiful slender bottle this is about $15 guys I bought this on um, Amazon last year but I paid about $15 and I also do have the oil for this as well so this is a fruity floral fragrance and it does have a nice warm spicy kind of effect to it a green but it is just really good smelling so the prominent note that is in this is green apple you also find some vanilla and some cinnamon and also some musk in this now it doesn't say it has a woody note in it but you can get a little bit of woodiness from it it gives me like a woody cologne kind of musky kind of vibe to this this is definitely unisex and I feel like male and female can enjoy this fragrance very much so and this I love pairing it with um, champagne apple and honey it smells absolutely divine with that so if you do have that or you got the new release from bath and body works this year you can definitely pair that with this but this is a spicy sexy apple cinnamony kind of fragrance i know persons are not really accustomed to the cinnamon note just yet but it is such a beautiful fall kind of vibe note to me personally and i feel like you guys will really enjoy that cinnamon vibe in this it is a spicy fragrance this is definitely one i would definitely wear like 
for a going out kind of purpose i really enjoy this one it's a little cologne it has a nice little musky vibe to it but it's such a beautiful fruity spicy fragrance and this is love apple by al rehab this next one is probably one of my absolutely favorite fragrances and i think you guys can tell because look at that dent in this baby this is casablanca by swiss arabian this is a fruity caramel woody and musky powdery fresh green fragrance this is also another unisex fragrance that i absolutely 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 love i love this fragrance it does have apple and grapes in the opening of it so you do get that woody factor as well and you have a little bit of patchouli some caramel some musk some suede and some amber and some peru balsam in this so this is a really nice fragrance i automatically get a caramel apple kind of vibe from this like i get the green apple i get the green apples dipped in caramel kind of vibe from this and of course you have that little bit of patchouli coming through and you have that woodiness it is super sexy it's divine it's enjoyable and this is a perfect fall feels fragrance this is such a good cuddling fragrance this is also a nice fragrance to wear every day um go to go out it's just a nice all-rounder i rocked this fragrance so hard last year that i only have a this month of it left in it i'm going to use this up and also get a new bottle of this but i absolutely love casablanca like it's one of my top fragrances of all time that i would definitely always need to be having in my collection i love this it's super sexy it even has a little bit of a gourmand vibe to it as well so if you are a gourmand lover you would definitely enjoy this one per se and it is super spicy and sexy and and this is Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. Now, this next one is Ragba. This is a little bit of a challenging fragrance for me. This is by Latafa. You can find this on in um on amazon as well too sorry so it comes in this size and then you have a bigger size you can see the latafa sign there the juice in this is just beautiful it's a nice dark brown juice so you know that it has lots and lots of vanilla in this this is a vanilla sweet oud amber powdery smoky woody warm spicy musky fragrance this is also another unisex fragrance so my ladies you can share this with hobby or boo or bay as well too it is super affordable and it lasts super long i actually wore this today and i wore it with wrapped in vanilla it smells super sexy together at first when you spray this i must be honest it does linger for a little while and it kind of it can be a little bit um head inducing like like it can give you a little bit of like a, a headache kind of feel to you and it also can get into your sinuses so if you're someone that can't deal with really strong scents be careful with this one because when you initially put this on it does have that strong kind of scent to it but the more that this wears on and dries down on you it's just absolutely beautiful so the scent notes in this are vanilla sugar um oud which is agar wood incense sandalwood and musk i love this i love it i don't know this is always something in this that i absolutely love a lot of people have found this to be an acquired taste but i can definitely describe this for you so this is basically i don't know if you guys have ever been into like those old time wooden houses this is like an old time wooden house with some sugar um burning on the stove making a little bit of caramel and some incense in the corner being burned that's literally what this fragrance smells like like it's so unique but it's so good at the same time and i find that this pairs well with like um wrapped in vanilla warm vanilla sugar anything that has a nice vanilla note in it this definitely pairs really really well with it but that sugar note in this is very distinct that incense note in this is very distinct as well so you are definitely going to get that smokiness from this as well too so this is a very unique one i know one of my followers um she saw that i wore this for my scent of the day and she was thinking about getting it so i'm i'm definitely going to give you a good description on this because i want you to be able to see if this is something that you enjoy and i would suggest try the smaller bottle first i think i paid about 10 or 20 dollars for this last year so try the smaller bottle first and then you can decide afterwards if you want to get the big bottle as you can see i still have this from last year so you know it does last 
um, you don't need a lot of sprays of this and it is so good so this is more for my ladies who do enjoy a little bit of an oud if you are not really into oud i wouldn't suggest this as a beginning oud fragrance this is more of like a person who is already into ouds this is a sweet vanilla oud it's super sexy i absolutely love it and this is ragba and this is violet taffa also found on amazon this is another one of my favorite oud fragrances and this is oud mood this is also by la Tuffa. very beautiful packaging very very unique i do have this smaller bottle because i mean we live in a more tropical climate here and believe me when i tell you this is not a fragrance that you're going to be able to wear all year round so this is a amber oud woody spicy warm vanilla caramel rose smoky floral sweet fragrance this is also also another unisex fragrance that has a lot of notes in it super 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 long-lasting affordable this has a beautiful dry down I absolutely love the dry down of this and if you're looking for something that has super strong projection and super strong sillage you're gonna find it in this now the top notes in this is rose saffron and pimento the middle notes is agar wood oud caramel floral notes patchouli the base notes is red woody notes amber incense and moss so we get that incense and that that woodiness and that caramel in this once more I absolutely love this I know a lot of people do not like this fragrance but I I love it and as I have said to you guys earlier I've realized that ouds have really grown on me and i absolutely do enjoy wearing a nice oudy fragrance so i i do not mind the oud in this it is not an overpowering oud as in another fragrance i'm about to talk about which is very controversial because a lot of people hate this fragrance but this is a more subtle mood uh, a more subtle oud sorry and it does have a lot more floral components in it it's not as sweet as ragba ragba has a lot more of a sugar vanilla kind of component but this does have a nice woody caramel floral vibe to it so this one i would definitely pair with um warm vanilla sugar for sure i would definitely pair it with this i do kind of get a little bit of that dna in this but this just has a lot more woodiness to it you do get the incense factor in this but it is not as like knock you out kind of incense it's kind of very subtle but powerful at the same time so i do enjoy wearing this one this is oud mood super sexy you can wear this for date night you can wear this out you can this is just a really nice oud fragrance and i feel like this is one that is it's good for beginners one for persons who are just really like getting into oud fragrances this is something that you can definitely start out with and you would definitely enjoy this is oud mood you can find this on amazon as well okay, so this next one guys okay hear me out this is such a controversial fragrance and I'm pretty sure by the time I have said this already, a lot of people have probably um, picked up on which type of oud fragrance I'm about to talk about. Now, persons ranted and raved about this fragrance when I initially was looking into fragrances, trying to get into Arabian fragrances, oud fragrances, all of that. Persons were like, this is the best oud for you to buy. It's probably one of the best fragrances ever. Ray, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is an acquired taste. I'm gonna be very frank with you guys a lot of persons don't like this any at all but I feel like it's because a lot of people do not and cannot appreciate ouds over time I have become more acquired to this I would definitely never wear this in the summer but I would definitely wear this in the fall and winter time for sure and of course it is no other than the beautiful 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 shag of oud this is by Swiss Arabian a lot of people hate this but for some reason i just can never seem to part ways with it i still like it i'm gonna say it i like it i know it has a little bit of a synthetic smell to it and it kind of gives off a little bit of like a gasoline vibe but i like it and if you like what you like you just like what you like so this is a sweet oud vanilla rose warm spicy lactonic nutty metallic powdery fragrance of course once again this is definitely unisex it is super unique i don't think you're gonna ever find anything else that smells like this but 
it does have such a uniqueness to it that it almost gives me like a rich auntie kind of vibes or rich uncle kind of vibes like i've definitely feel like this will make you feel like princess or queen arabian royalty full stop like this is arab royalty this is what the arabs wear this is what the rich arabs wear people okay this definitely smells like that um this has notes of saffron agar wood um rose and the base notes also has agar wood again praline and vanilla this is supposed to be the dupe for a really really good lancome fragrance i know i had looked it up some years back and a lot of people were saying this was a dupe for it um i think it's called oud bouquet by lancome oud, oud bouquet i believe that's what it is but oud bouquet tends to have a little bit more of a rosy factor in it i haven't sprayed this in almost a year guys so i am just gonna spray this to just get a little i mean oh guys i mean i just don't know how to explain it like it's not for everybody it's not it's it's definitely not like i don't want to get knocked out because this is like a powerhouse like i could spray this now and probably the person's across from me in the next apartment will smell it because that's how powerful this is this is such a powerful fragrance but it's an acquired taste i'll be very honest on that because a lot of people are not honest on that but this is an acquired taste but once you get used to it or you like the feel of it or you sweeten it up with something else it's definitely one that you're gonna enjoy this is not a good beginning oud i'll be very honest this is not a good beginner oud if you are just getting into oud fragrances stop reverse do not get this <laughs> because this is for more persons who are more acquired to oud but i definitely feel like once you are really into oud or you want that arabian royalty feel you definitely are going to need shadow of oud by swiss arabian in your collection this next fragrance i remember the absolute controversy around this fragrance when it was being released by Kale Haley, and it also it's very sentimental to me because it ended up being one of my birthday fragrances for my 30th birthday and i absolutely just really really fell in love with it after that so i really really think that if you want a nice sexy spicy oud fragrance you are going to definitely need vanilla royal sugar patchouli 64 in your collection this is by k ali of course and it is such a beautiful fragrance it is sweet warm vanilla but truly woody rum amber oud balsamic and powdery um this is such a nice intoxicating fragrance it's boozy it's spicy it's sexy it definitely gives me like a royalty kind of vibe it has a certain level of confidence with it like if you're wearing this you definitely have to have a certain kind of confidence factor with this like you have to move a particular type of way you have to dress a top a particular type of way to be wearing this guys it just gives that that kind of factor um i definitely will not tell you to go and blind buy this because it's just something that you definitely have to enjoy an oud for because it does have a lot of oud in it and a lot of booziness as well so the top note in this is rum and it has vanilla orchid jasmine the middle notes is vanilla creme brulee spicy notes leather tonka bean and rose and the base notes has patchouli brown sugar agar wood sugar amber and musk as well now i only have about two sprays left in this but i definitely want to spray it out to get a little vibe from it because i haven't smelled it in a while but oh my gosh immediately when i smell this like i i get a memory gif like i just get a memory jolt with this because like my 30th birthday was so meaningful to me and i absolutely loved wearing this fragrance on my birthday I absolutely did so this is such a great fragrance it is super sexy hands down comes with confidence sexiness and classiness it definitely has a really more subtle oud note in this it's not more powerful like my other fragrances that i spoke about earlier but you do get a nice little oudiness in this and it's super 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 sexy so if you do want a nice sexy playful sweet kind of oud i definitely suggest that you grab vanilla royal sugar patchouli 64 by kayali 
and we have come to the end of another video thank you so much guys for sitting with me and tuning in and enjoying this video today these are some of my favorite beginner oud fragrances sexy spicy arabian amazon fragrances that are super affordable on the pocket and you can definitely enjoy for the fall time now if you are excited or you're going to be buying for for, for now, if you're super excited and you're going to be buying the new Kali fragrances, the Oud Gazim 4, please let me know down below if you are going to be getting them. And if you do get them before I do, let me know how you feel about it because your girl is going to get them in short order. It may take me a little longer to get them, but I do want to get them and give you guys a really, really great review on it as well. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning into this video. If you have any questions, please almost always leave me a comment down below. I will answer. If you come this far, please remember to drop your scent of the day. Let me know what kind of oud fragrances you like, any spicy, sexy fall fragrances that you like or you will be wearing for the fall time. And once again, I love each and every one of you so much thank you so much for tuning in until the next video bye my loves